Capcom, you're at it again. MT Framework. Trademarked. What up, it's Shankster94, and welcome to my playthrough of Resident Evil Code Veronica X. So if you haven't seen the prologue, I slightly recommend that you do see it, because in there I explain how I'm going to play this game, and you can see some gameplay in advance. Otherwise, I'm glad you came. So, since I said most what I had to say in that prologue, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into this game. So let's go ahead and begin. New game. Well, that obviously hasn't changed. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later. So, it is December of 1998. Three months after Raccoon City got obliterated. Your identification number is WKD4496. Welcome to your new home. Ah! Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris Lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams.
Okay, so let's go ahead and equip this lighter. case this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Alrighty. So, we are officially playing now. So, let's check out what we got. So, we are playing as Claire Redfield again, returning from Resident Evil 2. Um, nice, nice little fact, uh, the same voice actress is voicing her again from Resident Evil 2. So, it's pretty genuine. Alright, so, what's this we got in our... I'm actually gonna check that out later, because there might be a little trick that I could still do using that. Um... <laughs> Got an herb. What's this we got? Some handgun ammo? Alright. And a knife. That's nice. His eyes are closed. He's bleeding. I'll need hemostatic medicine. Hemostatic capsule is on the floor. It's empty. All right, so that's gonna come into play later. We could, we have the option to come back here and give him hemostatic medicine, and that could play out. Uh, that could benefit us later in the game. Alrighty. So, as you saw from the demo reel, if you watch the prologue, we do have the ability to equip the lighter. <laughs> Alrighty, door animations are still around, and uh, the same. I will apply the same rule in this playthrough, like all other playthroughs. If I've already been through the door and are and returning to a familiar area, I will skip the door animation. All right, we got an ink ribbon, so saving returns the traditional way. We got more handgun ammo. Alright, and we do have a map as well. Well, this is new. Some uh, sequences will be severely extended with a heartbeat, because it's like a an area that was that's unknown or a recent event happened. <laughs> Oh, we have a vehicle crash. Alright, I'm gonna get the knife out. Oh no! Well, Claire's probably in shock. That this is happening all over again for her. Oh boy. Brave zombies return. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so we are surrounded. <laughs> Luckily that knife is overpowered in this game. <laughs> Zombie? Well, great. We're right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Well, once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Well, that was rude. Alright, so... Alright, got a gun now, that's nice. So, the voice acting in this game isn't all-star either. In fact, it's kind of worse than 2 and 3. It's probably nearly as bad as 1. But not as bad as Survivor. Hell no. Haha. <laughs> Alright. So let's go ahead and proceed. Uh, don't want it that way. Okay, there's a reason I haven't read this playing manual yet. I'm gonna try a little trick that existed in at least in older versions of this game. I don't know if it exists in the HD, but I want to find out. Locked with a padlock. Okay, I'm not going that way. Okay, so check this out. Instead of keeping the ability to just go right upstairs like in Resident Evil 3, they go back to what the way it was in Resident Evil 2. You have to press the action button to get up the stairs. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Alright, we got another herb over here. Crap. Not gonna have enough space. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, crap. Why do you do that? Oh my god, I'm doing horribly right now. Already in caution status. Doing swell. Alright, we got the map. So here's the whole map. See it once, and I'll never see it again. Yep, so 
that's staying the same. I'm gonna look at all mats and files only once, skim through them. So, if you really wanna look at them, you gotta pause. Alright, we got a file here. Prisoner's Diary. Plenty of handgun ammo, that's nice. I'm actually gonna start using it. Yeah, something, obviously something's gonna happen if I take this handgun ammo. Okay, I know I haven't picked up those guns yet, but for a specific reason. Because I want to get this herb first. And then make a triple herb. The M100Ps. This will be useful a little further down the line. Alright, we are done with this area. Uh oh. Alright, obviously, some sort of creature is <laughs> under this building. can't possibly proceed unless I get rid of all metallic items. Metallic items. Okay, that's annoying, so... Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna use this to lay out my inventory a certain way. Okay, yep. Alright, that's exactly the order I want it. So now let's try something. Alright, equip my gun, and then apparently I have to read this file, but not from this screen, instead the actual file screen. Playing manual. Let's 
So the quick turn is still here. Alright. So, by the looks of it, this glitch is working. So, do you see something wrong here? As I certainly do. Check what I have equipped. I have an herb equipped. So that's very unusual. But I still have my gun in my hand. Alright, I just fired my gun. So now, I can use my healing item. Check that out. <laughs> so, this is a glitch in this game. I don't know if it was in the original Code Veronica, but from from X onward, because it does work on the PS2 as well, uh, <laughs> you can perform a glitch to get an infinite healing item. So, no matter what I do now, this healing item will never disappear if I use it. And apparently I can store it in an item box, and it will still have it and it will still have an infinite property. So I could use this throughout the entire game. Now there's probably a lot of you that don't like me anymore because I'm about to use an infinite feature. But it's a glitch, not a feature of the game. If it was a feature of the game, then I wouldn't use it. And if you, any of you out there didn't know about it, I just taught you about it to make your lives easier and in getting the infinite rocket launcher. I'm only gonna use it when I'm in danger status though. So, all right. I'm gonna actually equip my gun, and I have to store that. As the point of this section is to store all metallic items, otherwise it wouldn't let me through here. Alright, there's another one over here, specifically because there's some more items over here. We got some rounds for a grenade launcher, flame rounds? And these new rounds that are called B.O.W. Gas Rounds. I'm not going to pick them up yet. There's something else I want to specifically do. Alright, got another file. User's Manual. Alright, just explaining how to use this thing, which is a duplicator. Facts on the Facility Access Application. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. Shit. <laughs> There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. What was that all about? <laughs> Alright, we got the Hawk Emblem. This is what we use to get out of the prison. The door's being held by something. It can't be opened from this side. Alright, so obviously we will be coming back to this area sometime and unlocking it from the other side. A lock release device. Wow. All right, so that will allow me to raise the shutter that was outside. If you didn't notice it. All right, is there an ink ribbon there? 
Yes, there is. Ah, three of them. That's more like it. I'm probably not going to save too much because I do want to try to get the infinite rocket launcher on this first playthrough. And the rank does depend on how many times you save. So, yeah, I might not use that too much. that in there. Alright. So the thing is ready to go. Now I just need to find the material to go on that. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Alright, so I can't keep the sink ribbon, unfortunately. Alright, I can take some items with me. I'm not gonna take all of them, because I'm gonna come back, come right back here. So take the handgun, and the ammo, and maybe the knife. I'll leave everything else. See, I'm gonna play this as normally as I can, even though I know there's an infinite herb in my inventory. Could really exploit this glitch by, like, showing off and just using the knife the whole game if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. Please fucking aim at the goddamn thing! Got an extinguisher. Okay. So, right now I'm thinking about that infinite herb and... Uh, it's a little damaging to my, like, self-esteem when I have that, so... So the first item box I come across, I'm gonna permanently stash it. Because I just realized that all other herbs in the game are now, are now kind of obsolete, and that takes some of the fun out of it. If I'm fully playing this game, uh, I gotta pick up all the herbs, or at least show you all of them, so yeah. I'm gonna stash the herb as soon as I get to an item box. Might use it one more time just because I can. Oh boy, we got Cerberi. Or I guess if you want to be technical, they are called zombie dogs. I discovered that Cerberi only refers to directly injected T-Virus. 